Hello guys, this is Boris and today I'm gonna tell you about the external decoding feature. Okay, to understand what does this feature do, first of all, let's uh, disable it. Um, let's go to the registry editor, to current user software, media looks and formats, and a reader branch, the external process key, and make sure that it's set to false. Okay, now the external decoding is disabled and let's check out what's going on with our file playback sample when it's running. Let's start the playback and go to the registry editor and arrange it by CPU and here is my file playback sample process. So as you see right now there are, there are just a single there is just a single process. Uh, it takes about uh, five or maybe six uh, CPU percent of CPU usage and everything is done inside this single process. It decodes the file, play, plays it back, display it, and all that stuff. Uh, seems to be okay, but let's imagine the situation when your uh, decoder is uh, not very stable. It got some problems, some memory leaks or something else. So if uh, something will happen to your decoder, your main process will be just stopped. So it will take effect on the main application. Uh, let's simulate the same situation with external process enabled. I'll set it to true. Uh, let's run the same sample application, load the same file, start the playback and check out what's going on in our task manager. Okay, right now you see that there are two uh, processes for this single application. First one is the, is the file playback sample, the main process, and there is also M platform informants external process module. Uh, right now, all the decoding stuff is done inside this external module process. So uh, if anything will happen to this process due to uh, bad uh, decoder to do some bugs inside the decoder memory memory leakages or something you see that it is being restored immediately the watchdog tracks this process and if something happens to it the watchdog just restores it let's enable the volume to check out what's going on inside the main application during this restore procedure did you kill him yeah yeah exa exactly how it looked that's how it is. Remember this. Here it goes. You see just a few frame drops and your application goes back to the stable state. Uh, so this feature will be very important for the applications which run 24 by 7. Uh, as you see, uh, these two uh, processes, the main one and the decoding one, takes uh, something about 6 or 7 percent of CPU usage. So it's almost the same value that you get in a single for the single process when the uh, external decoding feature is disabled so it doesn't add additional CPU usage but increases the stability of your uh, application uh, we have such good results because we do not copy memories memory when we transmit the frames from a single process to another one so this feature is as the stability, but does not increases the CPU utilization. Um, this feature is available with the uh, main version of M platform, and it also available with the expert edition of M formats. So that's it, guys. I hope you will enjoy it. I hope this feature will help you to keep your application stable. Okay, see ya.